Greetings, people of the internet. This is Scott with CircWorks, and it is Fan Art Friday. And it's getting close to Christmas time, and I was thinking to myself, you know, I, I, I don't know how much of the Christmas spirit I have actually been in. So, um, so I thought I'd do some uh, Christmas-themed sketch cards today. So I'm a big fan of the classic Rankin and Bass um, stop-motion films. So I'm going to do some characters from those. And I'm just trying to get some ink on my brush here. Hold on. Yeah, so I'm going to start off with the Bramble, which is the uh, the um, abominable snowman from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with that. Like I said, it's a classic. So, so we'll, do, we'll ink this guy in, and then we'll do some... Uh, probably some colors with the Copic markers so but yeah I always I always love these shows and I, I I really like the fact that they've just held up so much and that they're still you know they're classics and they're you know people still watching them today and unfortunately I don't own any of them on DVD which I should you know, I wish they put them on Netflix, but they I think they make so much money every season selling the DVDs that um, that they're not going to do that. But like I would, you know, I'd order them like from the, the Netflix, the one, you know, the DVD service that comes in the mail and watch. I haven't watched them this season, though, but I probably should go ahead and get those. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's so many great ones. One I never really understood was like, um, like Frosty the Snowman. They did like as a you know cell animated show, which I mean I love traditional animation, but I was always curious why why they why that particular one they didn't do with the stop motion. So. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should have Wikipedia that or something. <laughs> There's probably some reason, but yeah, they've even. I think they've even tried to to bring some of these back. Like I just saw a trailer for. It's not Rankin and Bass, but it looks like it's kind of. It's trying to be in that style and like of uh, Buddy the Elf from obviously the Will Ferrell, Ferrell Elf movie, which they really you know had quite a bit of an homage to, to the Rankin and Bass in that movie where he's walking through the, when it was the candy cane forest or whatever, <laughs> and meeting all his, you know, magical friends and things like that. That was cool. But it looks like they're, they've produced a, uh, I assume it's stop motion unless it's, unless it's like, it could be like CGI made to look that way, which I don't know. It's still, it just doesn't, I've seen a few where they do that. Like I know like Aardman for a while they were doing, you know, they try to move away from, Aardman's the one that does like uh, um, Wallace and Gromit and they did Chicken Run and all those. But then they did that one movie, Flushed Away, where they decided they were going to try to make it look like it was like stop motion and it was, it was CGI. And I don't know, it just, it didn't work for me. I don't think it worked for a lot of people because I think, if I'm correct, I think they eventually went back to the old way of doing things, so... Yeah, there's this, it's nice to see those, you know, I've like other, you know, I don't know who, I don't know who the uh, animation studio is that does like uh, Paranorman. That was a great film and that was all stop motion. And when I was in, uh, I went to Universal Studios. So maybe, I guess maybe it's Universal Studios that did it. I don't know. Or, you know, sometimes they've got, they're just a distributor. I don't know how all that works. <laughs> but uh, whatever the studio is, I mean, they do awesome work. Um, and uh, when I was in Universal Studios, they had like a little exhibit and you could see the actual like models and everything, little puppet thing and armatures and things like that. And man, it's really impressive, the details and everything that goes into that. 
I think I, I think I took some photographs of them and put them on my Instagram feed. If you go on there, it's Cirque Works on Instagram. That was a while back. You'd have to scroll through stuff, but there's some up there. But and it, yeah, I mean, those photographs aren't going to do it justice. That's just obviously like probably watching the movies. But but when you see them in person, man, it's it's pretty impressive. So, yeah, I, I dig that stuff. I do, you know, obviously the Tim Burton stuff that he's produced, like Nightmare Before Christmas and Corpse Bride and all those things. Um, I like all that stuff. As a kid, you know, I, I tr you know, I tried to do stop motion, but I didn't have the right kind of camera for it, which was part of the problem. Um, and then I my dad got a, a camera that was supposed to do it and it did it all right. So we did a few, you know, I don't know, silly things with it. But, but I remember at first and I didn't know the difference, you know, because the old VCR, or not VCRs, but the old like camcorders and everything, they would, when they stopped, they would just rewind just a little bit before recording, you know, the next, you know, whatever, whatever you record next. And, so that was really hard to do stop motion with that stuff because it would just because you're filming a second and then it would erase that second so it would just keep erasing and erasing what you what you already had. But then we got one that he like camcorder that was supposed to have this feature for doing that and it worked pretty decent. But back then the the quality of those cameras it's just amazing what you can do now. Like you could I you know I could probably. It'd be so easy to do it now. I could just use a regular camera and uh, just take stills and then drop them into like a slideshow or drop them into Flash. And Flash will automatically, you know, yeah, I'm sure there's easier ways to do it, but, you know, I'm familiar with Flash. So you can drop it into Flash and it would put them all in the timeline in order and you can pretty much play it. So yeah, it'd be a lot easier to do that nowadays, I'm sure. But yeah, we used to, you know, I'm trying to remember exactly what, what they, what the, the, uh, what the shows were that we would do, try to do stop motion with. But I think I had one thing that was, I think his name was Hobo Man. <laughs> and it was just, uh, I think with that, I just tried to draw the pictures and film them and, and try to put them together like a regular animation. But I built like puppets and things like that and like stuff out of clay and all that stuff that was, yeah. that was fun but anyway so let's see let me give him some color in the eyes here this is always a fun character to draw Most of the guys I'm drawing gonna draw today are more like villains, but in the in the Rankin and Bass, they're not always you know so much villains. At least some of them, you know, or they turn good at the end. Like I think in in Frosty, I think the magician, I think in the end he found his he 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 changed his ways and and uh, like this guy was just you know spoiler alert he just had a toothache <laughs> and that's why he was angry so. But, um, anyway. but yeah, the other two I'm going to also do um, from A Year Without a Santa Claus. After this, I'm going to do the Snow Miser and the Heat Miser. And, like, they were villains, but they were... It's almost funny because, like, Santa Cl or Mrs. Claus was kind of on a sort of a friendly basis with them. Like, she would go visit them and, you know, they let her in and everything. And, you know, they just... They had their own idea, you know. One of them wanted to make the Christmas hot. One wanted to make it cold. So, but they weren't like totally bad guys. I remember like which was the one? Was it Santa Claus was coming to town with like Kubla Klaus. I remember that guy. He was sort of a bad guy. He wanted to take all the toys away from the kids and stuff. <laughs> he's like he's like the guy in Footloose that wouldn't let him dance, but he wouldn't let the kids have. Toys. I think he changed his ways too now that I think about it. I think he remembered a toy that he had when he was a kid, so I think that was kind of a running thing. Yep. 
hard keeping this brush like nice you know wet so it you know doesn't give me that dry brush look which sometimes you want but in this case I kind of want like more of a slick look so go ahead and initial this thing I'll come back to it and and uh, we'll color him in a bit but let's move on to uh, snow miser and if you haven't seen a year without a Santa Claus that's that's a classic too man let's see they're all classics this one might be one of my favorites I, I just I love these two two characters I love the song and But yeah, so yeah, I hope hope everyone's you know everyone that celebrates Christmas is uh, having a good Christmas season. Um, yeah, it seems like later, it seems like lately, it's taken me longer to get into that season. I got to put on like some Christmas music or something to kind of get me in the mood. Like I'll I listen to some, I've been listening to some stuff. Like there was a radio station I was listening to, and they kind of pepper in some Christmas music sporadically, but. I don't know. Got to get out my old John Denver and the Muppets CD and put that on and stuff like that. But yeah, it just seems like eventually I get there, but it seems like it takes more time for me to. It's not like, and maybe it's just a reaction to everyone trying to start Christmas like in October. Maybe that's why it's like I'm kind of pushing back, but, you know, I do enjoy Christmas and all that stuff and just the season and all that kind of stuff. So, so I don't know. I mean, I need to get in back. I need to really get into that spirit. So this is helpful. I should have, should have had some Christmas music playing, but then of course that stuff's all probably going to get flagged on YouTube as far as. You know, can't use licensed music and stuff like that. So, so yeah, what have I been up to? So yesterday, um, well, this is I'm actually filming this on Thursday, so because I got I got to do some stuff tomorrow, and plus it takes a little while to upload all this because these are usually. And to be tend to be like an hour long video, which takes a while to to process and upload to YouTube and all that stuff. So, so I'm filming this on a Thursday, but uh, yesterday we did an Artcasters chat, and it was kind of like a last minute thing. It was weird because we haven't done one in a while, and that's uh, if you guys are following Jeff Lafferty or Peter Palmiotti, both those guys that kind of put on the Artcasters chat videos, and they stopped doing them, and uh, I'm not sure who decided to start it back up, but uh, Jeff sent me a, an invite and asked if I want to do it. I'm like, yeah. And it's kind of weird because it was like last note, last minute notice as far as they, it wasn't scheduled or anything, which maybe should be the way they do it, you know, because it's, sometimes it's hard, it's really hard to schedule something like at a certain time every day and, uh, you know, a certain day of the week. But then, you know, maybe you just like think, well, I'm free tonight. Maybe I can do it then. And just, it's so easy now with like social media just to send an invite and whoever can make it can make it. And I was surprised that a lot of people did. We kind of had a packed house. There were a lot of people on there yesterday. So, and it was, it was probably the best one. So if you're the best one that I've been on, we started off talking a little bit about art stuff and everything. And then we just, just started going off like, you know, artists usually do talking about pop culture and, just geeky stuff or, or whatever and I don't know it was fun conversation so and then we kind of we kind of roped back around to uh, to talking about um, you know artwork and stuff like that so so if you're an artist it might be interesting for you or if you're just into like people talking about geeky stuff or whatever um, to check it to check it out it's 
long. I mean, I didn't even stay the whole time. I don't know how much longer they went after I turned in because I think it was like I think it was like one o'clock my time, and I had to I had to you know get up and get kids off to school and everything. So, but but yeah, that might be something you should check out. There's a lot of a lot of good tidbits and things on there. Oops, I'm off camera here. But yeah, I, I talked a little bit about, and I might do it, well, you know, I guess before I move on to that, I should apologize because usually I try to get at least two videos up a, a week. And I didn't, other than the Fan Art Friday one that I'm doing right now, I didn't get another video up. And I've got some stuff filmed for a 100 Days of Making Comics update, but I don't know. I'm I'm like, so I haven't really even... I'm ashamed to say I haven't really got back into doing my comic books so much lately since the last one I did. But I've got like other comic stuff. Like I said, I filmed some stuff. I just got to put it together. So hopefully next week I'll 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 do that. But I really you know I really need to get back into doing the comic because I'm just uh, I'm so upset with myself for losing my momentum. And I know I'll eventually get back to it, but I, I don't want to wait any longer than I have to. And part of it's a show that I did, and I talk a little bit about that on the Artcasters, about how I did which at the show, which wasn't great, which usually I do pretty good at shows. So it was a new show, you know, it's still trying to get off the ground. So I didn't really know what to expect, but I guess I was expecting the Christmas shoppers and stuff to kind of make up for what probably would lack in attendance and everything but anyway I talked about that on the Artcaster show and all that so I probably won't get back into it too much maybe I'll cover it a little more on one of the the uh, 100 days of making comics but so yeah I didn't didn't get a video up other than this one but I'm just gonna call that Artcasters a video even though it's technically not on my channel and everything but at least I'm still somewhat being present you know on the web and that's gonna be hopefully gonna be one of my big pushes for next year is try to be more um, I don't know available not more visible I guess on on the web and the internet and across different social network platforms and as lately I've just been mostly concentrating on um, YouTube and to a certain uh, degree Instagram which is cool I guess just because I like those two better because like with YouTube I get a lot of not a lot, but for, you know, the number of followers and stuff I have, I get, it seems like I get a lot more reaction and response and stuff from YouTube than I ever did from Facebook. Um, and now with Facebook changing everything where not everyone's seeing your post and stuff, I don't know. I'm just, but I do need to go, go back and, and start kind of talking to people on Facebook a little more and show people what I'm doing and. Because it's like, you can't just use one thing. It seems like you got to use each one a little bit. And I'm just, I've been pretty bad about that kind of stuff. So, so we'll see. We'll see. That's, I kind of, that's one of the things I say every year. But, I mean, this year I did do a lot more. Just the fact that I really did a lot with, with YouTube, with the whole 100 days and everything. And so, I mean, that's, it's definitely, you know, I've definitely put more content online, but it's been more focused just on YouTube or Instagram. And a lot of it is the fan art stuff, which, you know, here I'm doing fan art right now. And I do, you know, I always say this, I enjoy doing it, but I need to do, I need to show people more of my other stuff, you know, because that's the, that's the stuff I want people to, you know, to recognize and, and, and know me for, you know, because it's, although it's fun doing these fan art videos and, and, people can find it because they're, you know, searching for some, you know, 
character they know or whatever. It doesn't really like something like this. I don't know how much my style actually pokes through, or no one's going to recognize this as as me. You know, it's uh, yeah, it's just a Rankin and Bass character. So, as much as I like doing these, I really need to do. I want to do some more of my original stuff. So. So here we go, we're going to move on to the Heat Miser, and uh, <laughs> this guy's awesome, man, because he lives in a volcano, which if, if you've seen my videos and you, you've seen the little preview of what I'm working on, you'll know that CircWorks Underground Laboratory is in a volcano, so, and we'll learn more about that um, next year when I, when I get a little further along with those, <laughs> the production on those videos and everything, so. So anyway, so yeah, Heat Miser. And if you're not familiar with these guys, both the Heat Miser and the Snow Miser, then first of all, shame on you because you need to go check it out. It's so great. I think you can see that the songs and everything are probably on YouTube, I'm sure. Uh, not the whole movies, but yeah, I just like these, love these character designs, you know. Just the juxtaposition of the two different, you know, the snow guy and the, the heat guy. And, and they're, I think, I think they're, I assume they're brothers. Yeah, they're brothers. I wasn't sure if they're cousins or brothers or what, but yeah. These guys should be fun to color in with the Copic markers, so we'll see when we get to that point. And the reference I looked at for this guy, they they actually, I kind of combined two because they, they redid, I think they, I was looking on like uh, just Google or whatever, Google image search, and and I looked at some on the videos on YouTube and everything before I started sketching these guys out. And uh, I guess they did a, like a, a, they revisited these characters as their, in their own like adventure. Like this is probably pretty modern. <coughs> so, <laughs> excuse me. So some of, some of, some of the designs that are part of this guy, I incorporated from the newer look. But yeah, I didn't like what they did with the Snow Miser guy. He did he looked way different. Like this guy I think they added some improvements on a little bit. Like I liked his costume a little better. I add, this is the original costume that I added here. But they added some eyebrows, which I don't know if he originally had the eyebrows. And eyebrows are you know, ask any animator, eyebrows are one thing you, you really want to incorporate in your character designs because it adds so much um had so much expression and everything, so, but, so I added the eyebrows, and he still, he was pretty true to the original design, but they, they I don't know why they changed the Snow Miser guy, I mean, he had all the elements, but he just looked like a different person, his face looked different and everything, it looked like, you know, how they base, um, I don't know if they based, I don't know who played him in the, in the, did the voice in the remake, but it looked like they were trying to map it on to a, like a certain person. Oh, hold on, my screen's just turned off. So. Yeah, but you know how like in animation, they, sometimes they try to make the, the, the actual animated character resemble whoever's doing the voice. And it looked like maybe that's what they were doing, because it, it, he just, I don't know, he looked different. It didn't seem like an improvement. I liked him better. He was... He wasn't as like here. You see, he's real angular and everything, um, and it, you know, all the sharp, you know, sharp angles and things, which really give the idea of cold and give him that villainous look to him. Um, even though he's not, like I said, these two guys are they're villains, but they're not really that bad. Um, which probably was a good transition for when they tried to give him their own, you know, little their own show because. They weren't so much villains in the first place, but just they want things their way, you know. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, you, you can look that up online, I'm sure. Um, 
but yeah, I don't know. I, I just wasn't crazy about the look of, of the uh, the Snow Miser guy that, that in the re remake thing they did. I forgot what well, it was. Just maybe it's just like Snow Miser Heat Miser special or something. I don't know. Yeah, they've done like like I thought Frosty was on Netflix, but I think it's one of the remake things that they did. And some of them are just not great. I don't know. They just don't capture what the originals did. So. But I am curious. I do want to check out that one with the. Uh, I want to check out the one with the, the buddy, the elf, and see if that's any good. Which they got the guy. I guess the guy that did the voice for the the. The sh the series was um I don't know the guy from the Big Bang Theory which I don't know it seems like it seems like Will Ferrell would have done it I don't know I and I don't know but I mean it seems like he'd want to reprise his role as Buddy the Elf just for a voiceover and I'm sure it would have paid pretty well I mean the guy the guy from Big Bang Theory he's making crazy money so I'm sure if he would have done it I'm sure they could have got Will Ferrell to do the voice I don't know I mean. Voiceover is one of those sweet jobs where you just kind of, you don't have to prepare much. Well, I don't want to say that. That's probably, that's not true. I mean, I've got some people, I know people in that business, but, but you don't have to like put on makeup and do all that stuff. You go in, you, you know, if you're professional enough, you can go in and, you know, do the voice and everything. And, you know, it's a pretty good paycheck. So, so yeah, I don't know why they couldn't get Will Ferrell to do the voice. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, we're almost done inking these guys. I'm just going to put a little more of an outline around them, and then we'll go ahead and we'll see how many of them I can color in before I run out of run out of time. Either my phone either my phone runs out of uh, out of memory or um, not memory, but uh, I don't know whatever you call it hard drive space, whatever on a phone, or um, we reach that kind of that hour mark, which I don't really like to go over too much and like I say this all the time but anyone that watches these and sticks around for that whole hour watching me do these I, really, I appreciate it because it's a it's a good chunk of your time you know and the reason why I keep doing them like that is just because these are the kind of videos I put on while I'm working so even though they don't won't reach as broad of an audience because people like stuff short and sweet and most people, you know, it's just they're not going to stick around and watch that. There is there are some people that, you know, that's what they like. So this is for them and then I still need to do I still need to do more where I, you know, <laughs> I do something a little shorter for the average person. We'll see. Okay, so we got these three guys. Let me kind of wash out my brush here and get the markers out. Hold on a second. Oh, I gotta find a scratch piece of paper or something. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's try the Brumble first. See what blues we got or grays we got. See which ones work. This one looks pretty close from the look of it. Oh, that's way too dark, but that's a good shadow. Let's try this one. That's pretty good, but I don't know the shot. They don't look like they go together. So this one, I don't know if I'll use this one or not. See what this one looks like. That's pretty light. That might work though to start off with. And I wonder if this will work for like the whites. Yeah, that might work for the whites. All right. All right. Let's start off with that then. These markers are so fun to work with. I really, 
I really miss, you know, doing all kinds of, like, big marker renderings and things like that. What I really need to do is, is like, pick a decent size illustration and just really take my time with them instead of, like, these real quick ones. Hopefully this color isn't too far off from the other blue. Oh, it looks like looks pretty good. Sorry if I'm off camera there. I always tend to do that. This guy should be fairly easy because he's <laughs> mostly white and blue. Uh, so I'm going to use this kind of real light blue for the white because he's cool. You know, I don't, I don't want to like a, I don't want to use too much of a gray here. Just real lightly, you know. I don't want to do too much. Oh yeah, I should do his teeth too. I wonder if the teeth would have, maybe I could have used yellow for the teeth, but that's all right. They're pretty cool color on the, um, on the actual show, on the picture I'm looking at, so, but yellow might have help them, you know, pop a little bit or give them kind of a more of a gritty look to them. All right, now we need to find the inside of the mouth. What we got here? We got a pink. That pink's pretty good. I like that. Got another red to red. That one's a little off. Let's see this one, lipstick red. That'll probably work. And there's a... I thought I had like a real dark red. Mm. Let's try this one. That'll work. All right. All right. Let's see what we got here. his tongue just lighter pinkish color a little bit of red that's a little bit drastic but we'll go in here Kind of got with these marker. You kind of got to watch the bleed because they'll bleed a little more than you're expecting. So you got to account for that. I can blend these in a little more here. There. Let's add a color in the background. Let's see. I'm gonna go with like a little, like a green, but I'm not sure what color yet. Take this one, just subtle, just to add some color behind them here. go and then 
do my out my, my white outline. Although I, he's touching it, it's kind of close on the top there, so I should try to leave a little more room. See how how this works because he's he's so, got so much white anyway that I guess if the the darker the character the more this white outline is gonna make him pop. Yeah, he hardly hardly does much in that case. But anyway, so that's Bramble. All right, uh, let's see. I'll switch over to Heat Miser instead of Snow Miser since he, if I don't get to him, just because he's he's kind of got cool colors too. <laughs> so I don't want too many of those. So let's see, what kind of different flesh tones do I have here? That's a little bright, but. That's a little better. Those two go pretty well together. Let me see, this is sand. That's pretty good. I think these three work pretty good together. So, just go ahead and do him and that. So what, uh, you know, I guess this is probably going to be, I don't, you know, I, I got to look at my calendar. I don't even know what day Christmas falls under. Let me see. I don't know if, I don't know if there'll be a, a fan art Friday next week or not. I might, might go dark. Let's see. Um, where's, uh, got to find my mouse. I got this new setup. So I'm trying to, I guess I, hold on a second. Okay, so Wednesday. So yeah, there might I might do one on Friday. We'll see. It may next week I may still <laughs> only get one video up. I don't know, you know. I don't think anyone's gonna be too critical with it being the holidays. I mean Yeah, I've been noticing a lot of the shows I watch, it, it seems like everyone's kind of on vacation. I'm like, oh, but there have been like podcasts. That those are the video shows. But as far as podcasts go, there's been a few new ones that have popped up that I've been that some of them are just like sporadic where they don't update weekly, but they've got new episodes up. So definitely want to check out some of that stuff. So after I finish this and I start actually working for today, <laughs> um, I'm gonna probably check out some podcasts. He's got some around his eyes. He's got a little pink, but that this should work. This isn't too, yeah, not too overpowering. And I might as well just color his nose and right with this, and then I'll find another color to go along with that. That'll be the first color. I have to add a highlight on that. I should have left that, left the white spot on that for there. All right. And then actually this pink, this pink is pretty close to his outfit now that I look at it. He's got little sparklies, which I can definitely, that I can do um, with the white pen. I may need 
great to see. He's the reference I'm looking at. He's wearing a hat, so he's wearing the this like the straw hat, which um, I want to actually have. I want to see his hair. So I guess I guess he just wears the hat when he's doing the singing number. So like with this guy here. I don't know if I, maybe I should have left the hat off, I don't know, but I don't know. Hat looks better on this guy, I think, than this guy. Here you want to see his flames and stuff, so. And where I think the cold wouldn't do much to the hat, but I think the, the fire would probably just melt a, a little straw hat, so. Or a paper hat or whatever those things are made of. All right, so let's go. We got some orange. Some lighter orange and find a yellow. Okay. Go ahead and do the yellow first since it's the lighter color. Oops, sorry. These little cards, they get out of picture so much because they're so small. I got to keep looking at the camera and making sure that they're <laughs> that you guys are able to see them. Oh, here, eyebrows. darker orange here. So anyway, like I was saying before, I got distracted, but um, what, you know, to, we're doing Christmas this time, so the next one I do will be after Christmas, so I got to think of something else to do, so I'm always interested in hearing what your requests are, if there's anything in particular you want to, want me to, to draw, and I'm always, you know, I'm always partial to stuff that, that I, you know, that I like to draw that that appeals to me so I know I know you guys don't all know everything that appeals to me so um, but uh, you know certain people make suggestions like last week I did Battlestar Galactica which even though there's probably not a huge fan base for the original like Battlestar Galactica characters and stuff I had a blast doing that just because you know it's what I'm into so <laughs> so you know, go ahead and send me those suggestions. And hopefully I'll have time to, you know, to draw them. Ah, I don't know why that happened. Let's see if there's a... This red might be too much, but that's no, too much. Let's see. Maybe. Yeah, that'll work good. You know, the nose a little bit. All right, now I gotta figure out what. Uh, yeah, for, probably should do a little on the teeth here. Where are my grays? Ah, so, let's see. What color would go good? Let's see what I got. Oh, 
Well, usually I try to go with something that's, you know, I could put a green on there too, but, and that would kind of pop the black out, but maybe just a lighter pink, just a little bit. I don't know. We'll have it all kind of the same. Sometimes I like to go opposite in the color spectrum, and sometimes, I don't know, just keep it all kind of monotone. We'll see what happens when I add some white highlights here. So you definitely need something on the on his nose there. And this is uh, a Uniball Sino um, gel pen that I'm using. And it may be running out of ink. I don't know. It seems like okay. But yeah, I really love this thing. Can't really see it though. The, the pink is pretty light, but anyway. Alright, there's Heat Miser. So yeah, let's go on to the Snow Miser. And what do we got here? I'm going to go ahead and put, I don't think I'm going to need any of these reds, so I'm going to put them away so I'm not taking up space on my table here. Hold on. Okay, let's see if we can do one more before our time runs out here. Find the good blues. That one's good. That one's pretty good. But it's a little darker. This would go good for his clothes, I think. Alright. Snow boogers hanging off his nose. <laughs> Hair, you know, I gotta find, I, I want the hair to be a little different than the face. So I don't know if I have, what else do I have here, this is like a, I don't know, maybe this purple, yeah, that'll work. purple under the eye just to give him a little Scarf. So a little shirt, probably under the hat, will make it a little darker since there'd be some shadows there. Sorry. Ah. There we go. His hat. Let's see if we got 
this darker blue what it looks like yeah it's and we'll make the stripes here on a shirt this darker blue I mean on a scarf Probably pretty, probably good to go. Maybe a little darker purple inside his mouth. Let's see. That's whoa. That's too red. Yeah, that's better. So maybe purple in the back. This is another one where I, you know, I want to keep it all the same. Cool shades and stuff, so. Maybe purple here as well. Cool, yeah. Pretty happy with these little sketches here. I'll post them to Instagram. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, where's my gel pen? Oh, you know what? Did the I forgot to put the little sparklies on these guys. I'll do that on their shirts and stuff. Maybe add some highlights on some of the ice too. Let's see. A little bit on there. All right, let's see. So, yeah, just a little tiny, almost like sequins on the shirt. Sorry, you can't even see that. And then this guy has one too. Not that smudge? But that would have been all right. So yeah, that's I think that's going to do it for another Fan Art Friday. Let me show you each one here. Put them all up on the screen. Let me put this guy in the middle. So, there you have it. Uh, this wraps. This will wrap up another Fan Art Friday. Uh, thank you for uh, subscribing and liking and commenting. And, yeah, leave, any, leave in your comments uh, any if you guys have any idea for... Uh, what kind of pop culture character you want me to do on the next Fan Art Friday? Um, I think I want to do some also some just sketch videos too. So with just uh, drawing like my own stuff, like some robots or, or whatever. So I might do some of those as well. But uh, I don't know if I'll if I'll have another video other than next next Friday with the holidays and everything. We'll see how busy I get. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to. This will. This is kind of gonna spark everything off and try to get me into that holiday spirit. And uh, so I got some. You know, this weekend I got some holiday parties to go to and stuff. So looking forward to that. And hope if I don't see you guys before then, I hope you guys all have a Merry Christmas or Happy Hanukkah or whatever, whatever uh, any kind of holiday you guys celebrate. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys uh, next week. And uh, that is all. Point out, 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 point out,